If you love the look of stitching on cards, but you wanna keep it a little simpler for Christmas cards, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I'll be sharing two dies from Spellbinder's latest Stitched for Christmas collection. Let's take a look at the dies first. First up is the Stitched Starry Argyle die. This is a background die. It cuts out an A2 rectangle. It also cuts out the stitch holes and some designs in between. This is the Stitched Christmas Tree and this comes with several dies. Comes with the stitching die, the outline tree die, a die that you can make swirls on the center, a die that you can cut out and stitch for the base of the tree or the tree holder, a die to cut out a star, and you can cut out stitching for that star, and there's a little sort of swoop line that can be the bottom of the tree base there. Now, let me show you how easy they are to stitch up. So like I mentioned, you can cut the tree out or you can cut the tree with the stitch lines inside. That's why they come with two different dies. Then I have the base cut out, the star cut out with those stitching lines and the little swoop or garland that can go on the tree. So for the tree, there are several areas that there's a center and stitches that go around it. And you can tell by the lines that emboss on the cardstock. So this is actually a very easy tree to stitch, even though it looks like a lot of holes. They are mostly just a few spots where it starts in the center and then goes towards the outside with a large, regular old back stitch. So it doesn't take very long at all to finish up stitching this tree. So I'm just showing you one area of stitches going from the center to the outside. Some are a little bit longer than others, but it's very easy to follow along with those lines on the cardstock that are embossed. For this tree, I decided to use the same color thread as the cardstock, so it just adds that home stitched, homespun feel to it, but it is the same color. And I'm gonna finish up that tree, but before I move on to the background, I did wanna show you a totally different idea for the stitched trees. This one I cut out of white cardstock and I am stitching it in a rainbow of colors. So I have a pink and a blue right now, but I'm going to do pink, orange, yellow, green, and then blue. And then I'll move along. So I'm doing it in the order from left to right and then left to right again. It'll make sense when you see it at the end, <laughs> but I basically count out the colors. This way I know I can get all my pinks done in one sitting or one piece of thread. Now I'll show you the starry argyle background. That's one cut out of a light blue cardstock. Here's one cut out of the silver mirror cardstock. And you can see again that there are lines that are embossed to show you where to connect the stitches. So this is going to go in a zigzag motion down the left hand side and then we'll do it from the different top area and go zigzag in the other direction. That again will make sense when you see it at the end. But right now you can see how long these stitches are. This really doesn't take much time even though it is a full stitched background. When you see it completed, you can do two different colors. You can do as many colors as you want, but two different colors will create that Argyle look. And it is absolutely gorgeous, the stitching effect especially on that silver mirror cardstock. I don't know that I've done that that much before. I really like it. So it'll be an X at the top for the pink, and then I'm gonna go in with blue and do it in the opposite direction. So see what I'm saying there? Again, each stitch though is very, very long. So it may take a bunch of thread, but it's not gonna take a ton of time because there's not that many stitching holes. It's really just that the stitches are so long. Even though it is super easy and the stitches are super long, it ends up looking amazing. Like you put a ton of time into it and it is one of those backgrounds that people will want to touch because it is just so incredible looking. So here is 
the blue and the pink completed. And then on the right hand side on the blue cardstock, I have white thread with silver thread. So you could do a more subtle look like that blue cardstock or a more dynamic look like the pink and blue. Let's take those stitch pieces and turn them into Christmas cards. So for one Christmas tree base, I cut it out of craft cardstock, I stitched it with white thread, and then I have the very bottom of the base cut out of silver mirror cardstock. And you just use a little bit of liquid glue to adhere that bottom of the base onto the base itself. For this swirly effect that I think is kind of garland or decoration on the tree, just a little liquid glue behind it. I cut this one out of gold mirror cardstock and I'll adhere it right over. And you can see that the open openings go right around your stitching areas. So you still see all of the stitching, but it's a nice clean finished look around the outside. Now for the sentiments, I'm using Joyful Christmas Sentiments Glimmer. This was a collaboration between Simon Hurley and Spellbinders. They are still available. What I love about them is you glimmer the whole thing, the whole foil plate at once, it glimmers a bunch of sentiments, and then you cut them all out at once and it cuts them all out individually. So a little bit of foam tape behind the green tree and a little bit of foam behind the base to pop that up and also behind the star so that it will pop up off that really pretty argyle background. And then a little foam tape for the sentiment to pop that up as well. I love this card. I had so much fun making it. It is just so cool to see all the stitching come together. For the second card, I cut the base out of craft cardstock, stitched it on white, and popped that up. And then I'm gonna pop up the tree as well, and the star, and this time I'm using foam squares from Spellbinders. Again, just to give it a little bit of removal from that background, which is a little bit busier this time because I used the two different thread colors and the mirror background, the joy to the world will get popped up in the center. And again, just so easy to complete these. I am not a stitching genius at all, far from it. I don't have very much patience, but I was able to complete these in not very much time. I really love Spellbinder stitching dies because they are so easy to stitch. Most of the stitches are large. It doesn't take you too long to finish the project. I remember stitching long ago when I was a kid, cross stitching and never finishing anything. <laughs> so these are great for me. I'd love to hear if you're gonna add some stitching to your Christmas cards this year. Let me know in the comments below. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Oh, we're getting hot again. <laughs> oh boy, I think that's it. <laughs>